Having friends who share your interest is priceless, but what do you do if some of your interests are not exactly mainstream? If you love astrology as much as we do, more than likely you crave connecting with others who understand the language that you are exploring. Now, fortunately, no matter where you live in the world, the digital age has made it possible for like-minded individuals to connect, explore, and learn. Today, we'll be highlighting how we found astrology friends and community, and also share some practical tips and strategies to help you do the same. My name is Jamie McGee. I'm an author, astrologer, and the host of Star Sign Horoscopes here at Astrology Hub. And my name is Laura Orca, and I am Astrology Hub's Inner Circle Program Director. This podcast episode is brought to you by the Inner Circle your place to learn astrology and community with the masters and transform your life in the process. I love that Laura and I have this opportunity to talk about this together for so many reasons, but mostly because this is how Laura and I connected. And Laura is one of my dear friends. And I just, I love talking about astrology with you so much, almost on a daily basis sometimes. Yeah. And I've, I've learned so much from our relationship, just talking about astrology and been able to get so close to you uh, through talking about astrology. So I'm excited to do this as well. Yeah. So Laura, I know we met in the inner circle, which is a program for astrology hub. It's our inner circle community where we have all kinds of fun things that we can talk about, but what was it like before you found this solid community where you had, you know, master classes and forecast and people that you could ask questions to? What was your journey like before you found Inner Circle? Yeah, you know, it is hard to remember what it was like because the Inner Circle is such a big part of my life now and astrology is such a big part of my life. But before I found the Inner Circle, I had actually quit my job. I was really Uh, feeling really challenged by the job market. I really needed a change. And I quit my job and bought a one-way ticket to Asia as normal people do. (laughs) This was towards the beginning of my astrology journey. And I remember, you know, tracking the moon cycles and I felt really alone for, for multiple reasons. You know, I felt untethered a little bit, but I was using astrology and I knew that there was something there. And so I started Googling and listening to podcasts and, and trying to find an astrology community that I resonated with or just astrology people that I resonated with. And it was, it was a lot of me just kind of piecing things together on my own. And I picked up some really great information along the way. And I also picked up some really bad habits along the way that I learned later uh, were just a, you know, a product of me trying to figure it out on my own. Mm-hmm. So when I found the inner circle, it was like this grounding moment for me where there was a consistent rhythm that I could follow the moons and the other cycles that I was tracking on my own or trying to track on my own. And it was just this community that I could go back to. And so really I went from this, you know, how do I use this tool that I'm so enamored with? I'm so, I love it so much to like this community that really supported me in my growth. And now many years later, I'm thinking, I don't know where I would have been without the community. My, my journey would have looked a lot different for sure. Yes. Yes. Uh, What about you, Jamie? What were, what was your life like before you met the inner circle? I feel like I I definitely found astrology hub in the inner circle by a beautiful happenstance, but cause my journey is a little bit different than that. I astrology has always been a part of my life. I can't remember when it wasn't something that I looked into or something that I used as a tool or studied deeper. And where I was is that I was I was writing a lot of fiction novels. I was publishing a lot of fiction novels and in those novels, astrology is in them. So I was doing constant research. Like astrology was a tool, like what you would use as a calendar or something that you would, you know, check the daily weather, the actual weather outside. It was something that was incorporated and woven into my life in that way. But as a creator, I would want to go deeper, find a deeper esoteric or a deeper archetypal meaning of what I was writing. So I would study more. And that's where it gets a little dangerous because when you Google in general, or if you just kind of look out and I am a lot older than Laura, but when you get out there, when you first start Googling and searching things, you really never know where you're going to land. And sometimes you land on really good information. And sometimes you land on really bad information or a strong opinion of the author, but not really something that's based in like the ancient technique or any other division of astrology. 
So I was really looking for solid research and solid teachers that I could depend on, that I could grow with and understand what they were talking about. And I, that's how I found Astrology Hub in general. And I remember when the invitation came out, I was like, okay, well, everything they talked about publicly, one of the things I was researching was mentioned. I was like, well, I'm definitely going to join because I want to know about this masterclass. I want to talk to other people about this topic. How amazing would it be to be connected to an actual teacher? And I, I signed up and I remember, you know, right after I signed up, one of the first things I did, like I watched because I'm a watcher. I like to watch. I'm not really a big like, hey, this is me. Come join. Let's talk about this. But I remember watching and reading the post and how much I was learning from just the comments that people were making on the things that were in the group, not so much socializing. And because I'm a watcher, like I said, but I remember like getting up all my nerve one day and saying, okay, I, I have this question. I'm, I'm stuck on this point. And I think it, it was either something with the South node, because I've asked millions of questions, obviously, <laughs> over the years, but it was either on the South node or the galactic center being at 26 degrees. I remember saying, you know, I'm not really finding anything about this in my research. Does anyone have any insight? And within minutes, an astrologer that wasn't, it wasn't even the guide for that month, but was in the group answered my question. And I was like, okay, this entire thing is now worth it because I was able to get like instant clarity and connection. Or, you know what? I have that question too. This is where I've been looking for it. So different, but the same, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's just so amazing that, you know, people use astrology in so many different ways. And so when you're in community with people and you learn how other people are using astrology and the types of questions that they have, it opens up so many more doors for you to be able to apply this tool to your life. Everyone has heard of astrology referred to as a language, the language of astrology. Mm -hmm. And so being community really helps you learn to speak it and immerse yourself. I studied language in, in college. And I remember being like, the only way I'm ever going to get this is if I go to that country and I immerse myself. And that's what I think about when I think about immersing yourself in an astrology community, you really learn to speak the language. And when you don't really know how to speak the language and you Google things, you might not be Googling the right things. And so this, the, just honing in on the language is, is so important and so valuable because it's a natural process and you just have to stick with it. But community really, really helps with that for sure. I absolutely agree with that a hundred percent. Cause I do remember just where I live. Anytime I would try to speak about astrology, it is, a, it is a strong language and those around me didn't understand it. So I would end up teaching what I already knew past that sun sign, or even most people I would talk to locally really didn't even realize there was a rising moon, like just the first big three things. And you go past all those levels, you end up being a teacher and you're completely, you know, off track with what you were trying to explore. It's great to speak the language with, with each other, but to go back to what you were saying about Googling, I remember one of the biggest frustrations of landing on the wrong page is a lot of times people do not realize how many different disciplines of astrology there is. So you can land in an evolutionary astrologer's viewpoint, or you can land in a Vedic astrologer's viewpoint, or any, any modern, traditional, you name it. And it's really hard to intertwine those viewpoints because you're like, these are all so different. Why are they so different? When you are searching independently or studying independently, you may land on a different discipline of astrology and then try to weave these thought patterns or these belief systems or even just key words together about certain aspects of astrology. And that can get complicated if there's such different camps. But what Astrology Hub does is it has, it brings all of these together and it clearly shows you this is why this practice is practiced this way. And this is why we teach this this way. And it could be drastically different practices, but it all speaks to the language of astrology. Yeah. I loved the rotating teachers in the inner circle when I first joined, because like I said, I felt really untethered and just like, I, I didn't know what type of astrology I was practicing. I just knew that it felt magical to me. And so when I joined the inner circle and had different teachers, it was like this door open to so many different ways of thinking about it in different lineages and in different traditions. And each astrologer also gives opportunities to go deeper. So if I resonated with one approach or a different uh, type of astrology, there was resources for me to go deeper. And it really helped give me a foundation to stand on in, in astrology and really make me feel like I'm a part of it. Not that I'm like some, you know, just kind of piecing it together and feeling oh. like I felt like I not only belonged in the inner circle, but like I belonged in astrology, you know, and that 
can be a really powerful thing when you feel like you don't have anyone to talk to about it or no one understands why you're so into it uh, and you feel like you have to defend it, at least in my case, that that's how I felt until I realized that there's so many other people out there like me that are using this tool every single day. Absolutely. And I think even now, after being part of the inner circle and astrology hub for so long, it would, it's almost impossible when people ask, what kind of astrology do you practice? It's, it's impossible for me to define it because I have such a clear, at least front door view of so many different disciplines. And like you said, there's some that I, I went completely down the rabbit hole with, like, let me explore, let me understand this. And others I left and even better what's really great is, you know, we, there's this master classes and you can you know, watch them on your own time when you're ready. But I find myself going back to a master class that was a couple of years ago and understanding it completely different because of the perspectives or other teachings are saying, okay, well, now I see how this puzzle piece puts together. And it, it gives me my own unique version of how to use that. And I have to say one of my other favorite things, and it made me think of you as I dialed into this community was the cosmic updates, like getting mm -hmm. that, like re that update of this is happening in the sky and seeing it from, because each astrologer each month gives you their version of the updates and seeing how they would incorporate this energy or describe this energy through their practice was astonishing to me and helped me feel really in rhythm and in line with, with the cosmic flow of the universe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And getting those updates in real time is so helpful to track the transits and feel like a part of it and feel aware of it because sometimes you notice transits or you don't, but when you're just aware that they're happening, the more you're aware, it just starts to sink in and it becomes natural to like be in um, partnership with these transits. And astrology can be a really vulnerable space for people, especially if they're really diving into their natal chart and unpacking some, some things about their life. And what I love about the inner circle is that it just creates a, a deeper connection with one another. And it's just felt like a really safe space for me to open up and do this because if you're not actually willing to open up and go there and be vulnerable, you're, the, the gifts that astrology has is kind of lost. You know, you really have to be willing to go there. And the inner circle really pushed me to do that. I think before the inner circle, without having friends with the same interest, it was very easy for me to kind of keep it at arm's length a little bit or to say I'm doing the work when really I could be doing more. And so the inner circle structure really helped me go there and unpack the things I needed to unpack in a really safe container. And Amanda does a great job at that. The astrologers do a great job. And it's just, uh, I, I, I don't know where I would be without the inner circle. Yeah. And really talking about opening up the last couple of years has been extremely challenging for the collective and having a group that you, it, it's almost like a, a reassurance because astrology is a calendar, it's time, it's, it's spiritual, it's all the things, but having a group that could say, this is going on right now. This is how you're experiencing it. This is how I'm experiencing it. And anytime someone opens up and shares the, the support that floods in for it is, is remarkable. And I, there's such a healing aspect to that being able to say something and, and find that, find that I understand you. I see you, I hear you. And talking about language, sometimes it's hard to say I'm angry about something or I desire this, or I'm hitting this frustration. But in, in this group, if you speak a certain level of the language, you could say I'm having this Mars transit right now, and I'm really feeling frustrated. And you could say, I feel like I'm between a rock and a hard place, a Mars Saturn transit. What are you doing with that? And having people say, you know what? I went through this transit. I went through this, this experience one time, and this is how I did it. Or I I'm there with you. Like, what are, let's do this together and let's move through it. So, and again, if you're shy, like me, you don't necessarily have to say this, but seeing the conversations and seeing how people are experiencing the energy, it not only helps you as a student to see, you know, the archetypes of the energy, but it also brings it into your own life and your own experience and say, okay, well, I'm, the good news is that I am in tune with the universe. No matter how bad it is, I'm in perfect flow with what's going on right now. And that's always reassuring about the situation that you're going through or what you're even trying to help others go through in your life. There's There's been so many times when I would be at the new moon forecast and be completely enthralled with the whole chart, the whole process, everything that was spoken about the next two weeks. And that particular lunation would not be personally impacting my life, but 
I knew from astrology, even whether I knew someone's chart or just knew, like, you know, you speak your chart, they were saying, I'm going through this, how much it, how much information it gave me to help people through that. Like, this is a challenge. You're in the middle of the, this is where you are in the storm. This is how you're going to get out of it. Or yes, this is a great opportunity. You need to jump on that, send that letter because it was perfectly lined up with their, with where those people in my lives stories were going at that time. So sometimes you're in the center of the action and sometimes you're the observer. You reminded me of a question I asked in the inner circle one time. This was like a couple of years ago where I knew Pluto was going to enter Aquarius, which is my rising sign. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of fear, uh, you know, Pluto crossing your ascendant, at least on Google. <laughs> and so I asked the inner circle, I'm like, Hey, I'm going to go through this. I have early degree Aquarius rising. So it's going to happen quickly. And I got so many answers of people who had Pluto cross their at any angle of theirs and just to hear their experiences and how different each one of them was. And because it's so unique to your chart and it really made me almost feel excited for this transit that you would think Pluto death and rebirth over your ascendant. Yeah. Like now I'm, I feel like I'm going to be birthed into, I'm like excited about it. And it's yeah. the community that got me that way, because even though people may have gone through hardships they are on the other side and they got to tell me everything that they've learned. And it's just so beautiful to see how their chart unfolded for them. And so it really has given me confidence and an empowerment that my chart isn't happening to me or the transits aren't happening to me. It's happening for me. I love it. Whether you are actively participating or just watching, I can't say it enough. It's just so, so valuable. And so I really, 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 I cannot, I can't even imagine where I would be if if there was something like astrology hub, you know, two decades ago, like when I was first really getting into the deep books and saying, okay, this is, this is something I can really use as a tool throughout my career and how I build my life. I I just can't imagine It, it would be remarkable because it's such a great, on so many levels, not only is there a friendship that someone who understands the rhythm that you're going through, but there's also the education and the information and just dialing into this moment, grounding into this purpose and why you're here in this moment. And which is also another thing that astrology have that has with the inner circle is the soul work, which really helps you do that inner reflective work that grounds you into the moment and says, okay, this is the current energy. This is what the forecast of the universe is right now. How can you work on this personally? So there's this inner development, there's this outer development, there's this education. It's just all the things. Yeah. So Jamie, what would you say to someone who is like us years ago, who may be struggling to find community in astrology, struggling to find people to talk about their love with astrology with, like, what would you say to that person? I would first tell them that they're not alone and they really need to use a little bit of discernment and follow their hearts and in, in, in their research of who they connect with and why they connect with them. And again, with astrology hub, when we bring so many different teachers and speakers, it's giving you a different viewpoint into studies and how you practice. But if you are not in a community like astrology hub, I would just use a lot of caution and a lot of common sense, but also dial into that passion that you have. What do you, what do you have an interest in and follow that string down a wormhole? Because I know like just talking with you, Laura, you had a mercury was a really big curiosity for you and how to work with those cycles. And you followed that and you let it led you to certain teachers that you worked with and still refer to to this day. And mm-hmm. I have similar experiences when I was trying to understand more about the nodes or, you know, different cycles or life patterns and really listening to those teachers. So if somebody, it's really important that they resonate with you. If something doesn't feel like it doesn't fit, if it's not comfortable, then like back away from it. And that is the same with books lectures, any social media content, short or long form. If, if it's not clicking, you're like, if it doesn't light you up and it doesn't feel like something speaking right to your soul to get really deep here, then that's probably not the teacher for you. That's probably not the avenue for you. That is, that's one of the best things that I can say. I feel like if I had not done that, I would not have found astrology hub because I can't, I turned off more people and put down more unread books than I can ever count because it wasn't in sync. It was more like a lecturing or this is, this is my, it was a preaching of something instead of a teaching of something. Mm -hmm. And there's a, there's a strong discernment between those two points. But if you follow that instinct, I think you'll, you'll be fine. And once you meet an astrology friend, you still have there's an endless way to look at astrology and 
I think it's important to find friends or helpful to find friends who practice a different astrology than you, because it gives you a, a complete full circle view of something. And it helps you really tie loose ends together. So if you were to hear something or read something that's cookbooky and it says, this is awful, like your Pluto experience. And really you're like, you know, this is, I, I'm about to be empowered, like watch out for me. You're going to notice when I walk in a room and there's going to be some really powerful changes and, but they're going to align me, like really dial into what feels right. If you follow that sense, you're, you're going to be on track and, you know, hopefully you will land with a lot of people that allow you to speak and teach and understand and ask questions in a way that you feel comfortable. If you feel, if you approach a teacher and you're like, I can't even ask this person a question because I'm so intimidated, that might not be the right teacher. It could be, it could be that you're just growing in and you want to watch, but it's just all about following something that really feels in sync. Cause that's what it's about. The universe, finding your sync, your rhythm with the flow of how you learn and understand this ancient language. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you touched on something that we didn't talk about, but is a huge benefit of having astrology friends, which is that you get a lot of resources from them, you know, especially if you have friends that practice different types of astrology that may be able to introduce you to resources and things that, where you can learn more. That's a huge benefit that we didn't even touch on, but I just wanted to bring that up because you jogged my memory. And I would say that if you are thinking about joining an astrology community or you want to, you're not quite sure you're on the fence. My suggestion is to just do it. Just dive in, see if it's for you. That's the only way you're going to know if it works for you, if you resonate with the community, because you don't have to stay there forever and just jump in and try it and, and see if the water is warm because, uh, you know, that's the only way you're going to know. And I think that being in community is probably the, the most powerful thing you can do for your astrology practice, because again, it's about practice. It's about practicing with people, hearing their stories, sharing yours, um, because that's, that's how we learn. I absolutely agree, Laura. I love the resources that you can get just from simple conversation, if not comments, because everyone has a different viewpoint and we're all out there looking for gold. We're looking for a golden nugget that helps us, you know, understand something differently or with a new perspective of it. And you find those in comments, you find those in people just speaking, speaking the language left and right in the group. Another exciting part about being in the inner circle is when it opens and we get new friends. Mm -hmm. I love it when new friends come into the inner circle. Yeah. And that's happening soon, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that'll be happening soon around um, in mid-March. So we're we're getting ready to open for new students. And it is it is so fun when we get new students in there because you get to see where they're from. And it's like, wow, this global community all over the world. Like I thought I was alone and our yeah. friends are everywhere. <laughs> I know. I love it in our, in our community group where I see someone like, Oh, you're in my state. Like, let me go find you. Or you're only a few hours away. It's great. But I, yeah, I cannot wait for the next open. It's been a while. I love that. We're able to welcome in so many people and so many new instructors and teachers and Laura, what is the best way we have a wait list for everyone to sign up for this? Yeah. Yeah. So we're not quite open yet, but if you want to be the first to know when we do open, you should definitely join our wait list. And you also get a nice free little gift for joining. It's actually a masterclass from one of our astrologer teachers, Linda Bird, on an introduction to chart reading. So you get a little gift when you join the wait list. Um, but that's definitely the best place to go. If you're interested in joining in March, you'll be the first to know, and you can join the wait list at astrologyhub.com slash IC23. That's the letters I and C 23. And that's the best way to be notified of when we're open for new students. I cannot say enough about Linda Bird's class. I feel like I've watched that a few times myself. It's a great yeah. one. Oh, she yeah. really, she really breaks it down in a way that I've never seen before. So I, I, I love Linda. It's very approachable and she has a lot of great resources with that. So if you want to get that class and be the first to know about Inner Circle, like Laura said, go to astrologyhub.com forward slash IC 2023. We'll see you there.